this one over here, eight, not nah, this one, this one down here, the nine foot, and then the nine foot six and a quarter. The nine foot goes to the top of our slab. Our slab is five inches thick, meaning the bottom of the slab is down nine feet, five inches from our first floor. Well, this nine foot six and a quarter does not go to the bottom of that slab then. It goes to the top of our foundation footing. So if you look closely inside of your drawing, you should have your top of the footing being a little bit lower than your garage or your basement slab. Again, nine feet to the top of this line, nine feet five inches to the bottom of that slab, and then it would be nine foot six and a quarter to the top of your foundation footing. Uh, another thing that I want you to pay special attention to is um, over here on the, uh, I guess the far west garage wall. Um, from there, to find our truss height, we go up eight feet, eight inches. And that happens to be a nice even block. From there, we then go up our eight foot, 11 and three eighths of an inch to the bottom of the truss. Now, when we look at the truss, we have three different lines. We have the bottom of the truss where that dimension goes. We have the top of the truss up three and a half inches from there. And then we have the gypsum ceiling board down a half of an inch. So the dimensions on all of our truss work go to this middle line. It's not in the middle though, but it's the second line of our truss. Same thing when we're over here on our second story. When you come up from the second story, the dimension of eight feet, one and one eighth of an inch is gonna to go to the bottom of the truss. From there, you're gonna offset up three and a half inches for the top of the truss. And I'm gonna show you how to put in the gypsum ceiling board in these two rooms. So you offset that bottom of the truss line down by half of an inch. Now, ceiling board does not go into the walls. So you're gonna be trimming them inside of here. They're gonna stop just inside of the room. They're not gonna extend out into the gutter either. You're not gonna have ceiling in your interior wall. This separates our two bedrooms. And the same thing over here, uh, it's not gonna go into our exterior wall or our gutter. And so the dimension that I want you to remember is that from the top of the floor, it goes to the bottom of the truss. Trust me on that. I had to do it again, I'm sorry. At the tops of our top cords, uh, they're two separate boards. We wanna separate those uh, into two separate boards based on just that vertical line. Um, the mudroom truss, the easy way that it works out is that if you extend this right line up above uh, from your garage wall, uh, you can put your inch and a half inch wide truss going to the left and then just copy those two lines to the left two feet and four feet and then to the right two feet four feet six feet eight feet ten feet twelve feet fourteen feet and sixteen feet and what happens is it lines right up with our uh, walls edge now you're not going to see a thickness of a truss over the mudroom but you will have that half inch gypsum board ceiling board sticking down below if you've done everything correctly uh, your gypsum ceiling boards of your garage and your mudroom are perfectly aligned. All right, that completes our uh, heavy lines of our building section. Now we just have text and annotation to do.